How to take the most breathtaking selfie at the Grand Canyon is a question that's been troubling minds since, well, since selfies began, really. We've gone up in a helicopter, we've tried the VR simulator, but to really get the heart pumping, how about walking out over the canyon and staring down past your shoes into the gaping 4,000 foot abyss? The Grand Canyon in Northern Arizona one of the seven natural wonders of the world. It's also home to the Wallapai tribe, which owns over a million acres in Northwest Arizona. In 2003, they seized the opportunity to share their culture and raise funds for the local community. By creating somewhere special for visitors to enjoy an unparalleled view of the canyon at an important tribal landmark. It is an extraordinary place with an incredible view, simply perfect and deserving of something completely out of the ordinary. Together with a developer, they hatch a groundbreaking plan to build a glass bridge out over the canyon. That's if they can actually build it. Because besides the brand new cultural center, the design calls for a 150-foot steel bridge that extends 70 feet out before curving back in a huge horseshoe and rejoining land. It will appear unsupported, hovering 4,000 feet above the river below. Its floor will be made from 46 panels of super strong glass. Taking the walkway will be like walking on air giving visitors a hair-raising view down into the valley below. In 2004, seven years of planning and wondering is over. It's time to bring in the equipment and see if they can translate the design on paper to reality in the rock. On the edge of the Grand Canyon, a massive project is underway to build a sky bridge, which will float over the 4,000-foot drop. It's an enormous job, and fraught with difficulty. Now having built it 50 feet back from the edge, they have to work out how to move the 600-ton bridge out over the canyon. With no instruction manual, they look to the past for inspiration. The plan is to lift the 600-ton bridge with hydraulic jacks up onto multiple two-inch rollers. It's a system very similar to the way the ancient Egyptians moved the stone blocks to build the pyramids. As the bridge edges out over the drop, huge steel plates placed onto the back act as a counterweight to stop it from tipping over. Then a winch cable will be attached to the front of the bridge. As the cable is tensioned, the bridge will start to move towards its final resting place. Get it wrong, that's going to be 4,000 feet down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. The bridge is in place but the challenges are far from over. The next step is to create a walkway that's strong enough to safely handle over 1 million visitors every year, but clear enough to appear that when you look down, you're walking on air. In 2007, with the build finally complete, the bridge opens to the public sharing the Wallapai tribe's rich cultural heritage and an awe-inspiring view. <laughs>